What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another video. Um, today's going to be just a short tutorial on how to use Wraith. Um, this is a another like tool program that you can use for um, farming your gmails. You can uh, convert your profile, spoof your location, do splash page releases and that kind of thing. Um, server generation, proxy generation, all that stuff. And today I'm just going to show you the basics and how to use everything in here um, to make your life a little bit easier. So to get started, um, this is just the main screen that you pull up when you open the app. And then this is the spoofer, um, pretty self-explanatory. You just plug in your phone to your computer and then um, you can pick a location to spoof to. Um, this will help for like Nike releases and stash and stuff like that. Um, it's pretty easy to use and then you can put in your own location if you want to. Um, and then that's about it for that. For the splash section there's um, this one which is for like V3 splash releases like Adidas and Easy Supply. If you go here you can select your proxy list and then choose the store um, and then you can do your the URL there's also a extension that helps with these releases. Um, when you pass Splash, you can copy the session ID and then you put it into your Chrome extension that you can download on the Discord. And then you can go in and check out that way. And there you put the amount that you want. And then you create them and run them. And it's pretty easy that way. There's also Splash browsers for other releases. You can use them on Adidas and Easy Supply if you want to. But there's also um, Diggs, Finish Line, JD, and you can also do a custom if you want to. Um, again, pick your proxy list, um, the URL, and then the amount that you want, and then you create them and run them. And then you can have a bunch of browser profiles up, and you can potentially get through a splash page or a, a line or a queue or something like that. I've used this to get PlayStations um, when they first dropped on the PlayStation Direct store. So yeah, it's really helpful. Um, now we're on the converter tab. Here you can convert bot profiles, which is really helpful if you have a lot of profiles and you just got a new bot and you don't want to make new profiles or you just want to convert from one to the other. Um, you select what you want, you import the profile, and then you select which one you want it to export as, then you click convert, and they have a bunch of different bots here. So. If it's not there, you can put it in the Discord and they'll um, potentially add it. So this is really, really helpful. There's also the profile manager where you can import a bot file and then edit certain profiles inside it and then export it to the bot that you want. So that's pretty helpful as well. There's also the profile template here if you want to convert from a CSV to whatever bot you want. Next we've got the uh, the CAPTCHA tab, which is what I use a lot. Um, it's actually what I use the most. Here you can farm your Gmails to get them to a higher score and help you get one clicks. Um, I just have five in here right now, and you can see they're running. You To add a new one, you just click the, the plus there. You can pick a proxy list, um, put your email password. You don't necessarily need recovery email but if you do then you can put it there and then once you have your list selected you can pick a proxy to assign to each gmail and then you can create it and then you can run it um wraith has helped me a lot with one clicks especially on supreme and the scores are all 1.9 and after a very short period of time these were brand new emails that i created myself um, i didn't buy from any um store or anything um, they weren't warmed, they were brand new, and I put them in here and they got to 0.9 in like a week total or something. I wasn't even running it all the time, so it didn't take that long. Um, you can see your analytics, you can see how many tasks have been completed and the usage it's taking up. And then for settings, it'll, it's just basically the maximum running accounts. You can put that in there if you want to. If you have like a ton of them, like 40 or 50, and you only want a few running at a time because it's pretty taxing on your computer, then you can put something in there. Um, you can also select whether you want it to watch YouTube or visit Google News, 
I just have those on by default. Um, you can also import accounts through here and export them and see the account template if you want to upload a bunch at once. And then here we've got tools, so like proxy generator, um, you can select provider, and then you can put, you can connect Wraith to your provider in settings, but I'll go over that in a second. Um, you can pick your provider, pick a location, and uh, generate proxies that way. Um, there's also a server generator, so you can make a new server basically in a few clicks from here versus going through all the steps. Um, you can do the same with Google Cloud Services as well. Here we've got Card Manager. Um, you can put your privacy key in and it will um, like import all your privacy cards in here, which is uh, useful, I guess. Here we've got the Bot Manager. You can um, import your bot keys and keep them here so they're all in one place. And once you click on it, I'm not going to do that, obviously. Um, but if you click on it, it'll show you the key, and then you can click it again to copy the key to your clipboard so you can paste it into your bot or wherever. And then you can add one here, like this. So you just pick one and put your key in, and then there you go. There's also the account generator, which is pretty useful for um, a bunch of different sites if that need accounts. Um, you just put a catch-all or your regular email in there, and it will create a bunch of accounts or however many you want. Um, with your default proxies, I think. Um, you can copy the account or export, or um, you can do a two capture API key. I've never had to use that, but it's there if you need it. Finally, we have um, the cookie gen. Um, it, you can gen, you can gen for um, f basically foot sites. They don't have anything for easy supply, which is unfortunate, but. Um, you can still use it for foot sites if you need it. Again, you can pick a proxy list and then go from there. And then finally, we just have the settings tab. Um, you can put a webhook in here. This is where you organize your proxies. Um, just pick one, paste them in, give it a new name if you need to, and then hit save and it'll save them. Also here, you can connect to various services um, via their keys and that will help you generate proxies and or servers and then here we have the privacy key thing I was telling you about um, you can get that through your privacy account and then it, it'll show up in that one tab that I showed you before and then I guess last we have the documentation button you can hit that and you can read um, about Wraith and if there's anything, if you have any questions there that I didn't answer for you, but I think I covered just about everything. So yeah, that's basically it. Um, it's going to be a short video, but I hope this helped you. Um, leave a like and subscribe if you enjoy this kind of stuff or want to see more live cop videos and that kind of thing. Um, so yeah, I hope this helped you and I'll see you in the next one.